Hey everybody, it's Ravenways. Welcome to my channel. So what I'm going to do today is a series of videos. Okay. <laughs> and this is sort of different because, um, you know, I did a live, I did a live yesterday and there was so much that I was trying to talk about and I kind of dumped it into, into 60 minutes, like all kinds of stuff. I was talking about Pluto in Aquarius and I was trying to get all those ideas in. Then I was talking about UFOs and I was talking about consciousness and I was trying to get it all together in this live and it was exciting, but I look back at the live and I don't know. I, I think I was coherent, but I went off on so many tangents and I tend to be like that as a personality. I like to, um, all my notes are falling everywhere. I like to um, go off on tangents, but because this is like social media and, you know, I've got people watching this, I also want to be really clear and coherent, do you know? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload some, video, some videos today to basically um, break down some of the themes, some of the things that I was talking about in my life in, in a better way, right? In particular, I want to talk a little bit clearer about Pluto in Aquarius, okay? Pluto has been in the sign of Capricorn, which symbolizes our earth, business, um, anything to do with a bu the business world, okay? Anything to do with finance, okay? Anything to do with how people uh, make their money, all right? Er uh, Capricorn is an earth sign. It's all about the business. It's all about how we make money on earth, our material needs. Pluto has entered Capricorn 2008, and it's moving out of Capricorn next month on March 23rd, 2023. Let me check my notes. I got that right. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it, it's quite a big thing. It's a big transformation from earth to air. Okay. From an earth sign to an air sign. Basically the planet that represents the God of hell is moving from earth where it tore up our financial life right and really tore up our economy in 2008 when it when it entered capricorn we had the financial collapse and it's the one the mo one of the most serious financial collapses the world has ever experienced and is still experiencing because we we haven't really dealt with that transformation that pluto has given us and now pluto is just about to move into aquarius and what do we see as Pluto is, is at 29 Capricorn, just about to move into the sign of Aquarius on, on March 23rd? What do we see? We see war, right? We see um, a, a, a Putin threatening the world with nuclear weapons. We see uh, balloons, spy balloons. Like, uh, you know, think of the symbol Pluto, which is secretive. It's about war. It's about death. It's about enemies. It's about spying, right? And think of Aquarius, the air sign. Like, can you think, like, these spy balloons or whatever the hell they are, <laughs> you know, the, the jury is out on that, right? You know, the mystery of what these things are floating in the, in the air is such a Pluto and an Aqu Pluto and Aquarius type deal, right? It, the, the, the balloons in the air for most astrologers is just kind of, it, it's setting the scene. Do you know, we've had Pluto... Um, go through Capricorn and destroy the economy, cl climate change, heating up the world. You know, Pluto is showing us that our material lives, everything that we um, need to survive, we need to, we need to change. We, we need to change. And so the world is trying to do that, trying to buy time to do that. When Pluto moves into Aquarius, I have said that we are going to spend a lot of time, um, figuring out how we can fix things right because Aquarius is a scientific um Aquarius is uh signifies science and our work in science and it it is symbolizes humanity's need to understand things right like Aquarius is a is a sign where we make up new rules for living okay Pluto goes in there and makes it absolutely imperative that we we change, right? And that we use science to do that. So in my live, I talked about how Pluto in Aquarius is going to bring us geoengineering, okay, which is basically um, sending technology up into the air to do things to help us with our climate change and with the earth. I also talked about um, how Pluto in Aquarius 
is going to bring floods because Aquarius is a sign that is associated since ancient times with flooding. Okay, so I said we're going to have um, a lot of flooding and probably a combination of drought and flooding. Um, and I talked about how the sign Aquarius is associated with purification um, and purity and rational thought, but mainly purification. And that's why I s suggested to people that what we might need to have is filters, do you know, because... Aquarius is a sign that needs purity. Purity is very important. So this might herald a time where science becomes really concerned about what is in our water, what is in our food, and how to purify it. So I made a suggestion to people that they um, get themselves some water purifiers. I have. You know, I feel the big message with Pluto and Aquarius is that the world heats up. Um, there's going to be a lot of geoengineering to... Um, buy us time to fix the mess that we put ourselves in by always like buying crap and not really taking care of the earth and not being good custodians. We got to pay for it. Okay. Pluto and Aquarius is going to teach us that, but Pluto is a flipping hard teacher and there's going to be war and huge technological change more than like anyone is really used to. It's like, uh, it's going to bring us up to a, a level that we're not used to. Okay, so I wanted to get that out in my live in a way that um, made sense but didn't scare the shit out of anyone. But whenever I talk about Pluto and Aquarius, it's pretty heavy because, of course, wherever Pluto goes, Pluto brings um, transformation out of pain. It's not an easy ride because um, that's not how Pluto does things. Pluto digs deep into the subconscious, into, the, into all the crap that we do in our societies or in our personal lives and shows us the ugly shit, shows us the horror show and says, here's what you're really about that you don't want to friggin' look at. Here it is and shows it to us. And, and then we either um, die or we change, do you know? And that is what I think Pluto and Aquarius is going to be about. And I've had some dreams about this. I feel it's going to be about, like I said, geoengineering, high tech, AI, which I hate, is going to be called in very soon um, to help us get through our climate change, probably quicker than we ever expected. Um, but science is moving at such a fast pace, it's going to be really hard for us to adjust. And so... What else, right? Like Pluto, the thing about Pluto's transition into Aquarius is that when it makes this transition, it's a slow transition into Aquarius. I don't think uh, it gets into Aquarius permanently until around November 24th. Let me just check my dates. Yeah, November 9th, 2024. Pluto is permanently in Aquarius. So things to watch for. Floods, massive floods, more water in places than it's ever, ever been. Water disasters. Check your insurance on your home. Uh, make sure you don't live anywhere close to water. We're going to see water disasters. We're going to see a real push towards purification, like I said. So air and water purification. Okay. People are going to need air purifiers like... I would advise you to get a water and an air purifier. There is just something about purification and the need to filter that is going to be very big in this world very soon. Um, of course, you know, the usual suspects, I mean, this this whole situation with um, UFOs and unidentified objects in the air, get ready for that because that is going to be a theme for another 20 years. Um and of course, you know, Pluto in Aquarius does bring war, um, but it also brings international agreements, really serious ones. So get, you know, you're going to see um, people um, creating new allies. You know, you're going to get new international agreements, um, stronger militaries, stronger technology. Um, it's going to be a really weird ride, man. Like, you know... Um, Get ready for it. Uh, we're moving faster into tech than we can ever imagine. Um, so really uh, hold on to your seats because you're, when Pluto goes into Aquarius just a month from now, we're going to get the signs, the things that will show us what it's all about. OK, 
okay? But then, you know, like I was saying before, when Pluto uh, retrogrades back into Capricorn, which will be around June 11th, and I think I mentioned that in my, in my previous live, um, then we go back to some of the issues about Capricorn, right? And then it goes into Aquarius again. And it goes back and forth until November 9th, 2024. So it's like Pluto is transforming the Earth and the air. And then goes, you know, so we are going to get a combination of heavy technology around um, purification. Um, AI, of course, will always be in the background, but, you know, scientists don't understand consciousness yet. So I'm not too concerned about AI um, and consciousness just yet. But what I am concerned about AI is that it will be used to rob people blind. Okay, so this is another thing I just remember that you have to uh, know. Um, if you are a heavy online user, clean up your space. Like make sure you use things like where you, you know, because I really think that AI will be used heavily when Pluto moves into Aquarius to basically steal our identities um, and rob from us left, right and center. And I don't know um, how humanity will get you know, be able to cope with this. There's going to be a lot of identity theft. So be careful with your stuff that you do online. I mean, I'm kind of scared now that I've got a YouTube channel and AI can come along, copy my face, um, use it to talk to my mom on Facebook and stuff like that. I think, and I, I don't want to create paranoia. I know that Pluto in Aquarius can do that. Um, but um, you might want to have a secret password, you know, as AI starts to copy our voices and faces and stuff, you might want to have a secret password that only you tell the people that you love, right? So that if AI copies your voice or your face and the person asks the AI whatever it is, um, the secret password, if AI doesn't know what it is, then you know you're not talking to the real person. And I know this sounds like, what are you talking about? We're not there yet. But I think we're there. I think there's some things that AI can be really useful for. And I think that a lot of criminals are going to be using AI in a very big and disruptive manner, right? And I think other countries will as well. So filters, get ready for geoengineering, check your insurance, um, watch that you don't build a home next to any water, Okay, be careful where you decide to live and build. Um, and I'm sure most people are moving away from lakes and things like that. I mean, you need to really be careful about that, especially when Pluto goes into Aquarius, because I have I have a feeling, you know, and I could be wrong. Um, do you know, I, you know, um, but I do feel that this could bring quite a bit of water and water with high levels of bacteria. So filters, identity theft, make sure you talk to your family about that and have a password. Um, watch what you share online in a big way. Um, a lot of my videos, I don't show my face. I might do that more um, just because as AI gets more and more clever, it will be able to copy my face, copy these videos and send them off to people like you know, I, I think that is coming. It's coming pretty soon. You know, AI is already writing uh, students' papers and all sorts of other things. It's going to be a very, um, very interesting Pluto in Aquarius moment in March. It's going to bring a lot more balloons and a lot more issues around Cold War and war in general. I'm hoping um, that we can come through this Pluto Aquarius um, alive and well. And I'm, I'm an eternal optimist. Um, I think we can do it, but we're going to have some very strange moments with technology very soon. Um, also, oh, another thing, because this is it, like I'm, my brain, I remember stuff and then I think I'm finished my video. <laughs> There's more stuff to come. I did talk about in the live that I, be I believe that Pluto in Aquarius was... Um, was going to force the discussion around UFO, whether people, UFOs, whether people liked it or not. I think that is coming and they're going to be very difficult discussions about that because the presence of UFOs, um, which is very much a Pluto and Aquarius type thing, um, 
is going to challenge people's reality. And Aquarius is the sign of reason and logic. But when Pluto goes into it, what Pluto does is it takes a look at what we think reason is, what we think science is, what we think logic is, and it turns it on its head, right? So there is going to be a big reality shift, but I'll talk about that in my next video. Bye for now.